I mentioned another video about how they bag things, and that's oh, like I how you stake oh. claim to it. And these are jackfruit. Jackfruit are strange. You mix them with a the different foods you mix them with, they pick up the flavor from it, just like a tofu. Jack. I know, a jack is my name on there, huh? Look at that, But these things get big. Now, I've seen these jackfruit that were almost... Yeah. Uh, How big are these? I know, all local. Well, I've seen them this big right outside. here. I see right here. I've seen them that big. Much big, bigger than I Yeah, know. as big as a, the the height of one of these wall, one of these uh, things. Hey, this is something for you to see too. It's really too bad because this stuff looks so nice and ornate. If you have metal work done Hello. for any home you get, no. or any home Hello. you're living in over Hello. here. Hello. Oh yeah. There's another fruit up there. What do they call it? That, uh, guyabano. Guyabano. It's ugly fruit. I call them ugly fruit. Anyway. They're ugly looking things. Pokey looking things. It's supposed to be a very good uh, thing for cancer. It's just more effective than chemotherapy. Oh. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to get back to oh, mangoes. Now look, she's showing everything here now. No, that's can you see if you can see the mangoes up yes. in there? That is an Indian mango. Indian mango. And there's mangoes there. Yeah. Oh, back to what I was saying about these fences, the ironwork. They've got to really seal this stuff in. If they don't, it deteriorates unbelievably fast. The, uh, the landlord here was aware and he didn't do anything about this. And if you see, it's just rusting it all the way. So anything you have done here, make sure it's a nice thick metal, treated. And I don't know if they alodyne or not, but it definitely should have been alodyne before it got painted and primed because the deterioration is unbelievable once it starts. Oh, look, I buy a candy out here. That's my favorite little candy, a little one peso candy. I found it. I didn't put, maybe I did lay it down when I come out here. These are wandering outside, you know. What are we going to show over here, huh? Oh, these, these flowers, these flowers are kind of neat. It is right here. Right here. <laughs> no, it don't bite my stomach. No. <laughs> no biting alone. These flowers are kind of neat. And if you see, here's the ones up on top. This flowers for a long time because as these go out, They've got little stalks behind. See them right there behind? And they'll come out and be flowers too. So this one goes away. This one come out and be a flower. And that one be a flower. There's like three flowers. And once there's three flowers... <laughs> She's been weird. Hun. Ah, you weird hun. Uh -huh. I see here one had flowers all over it. But it's starting to get the little buds back again. See right there for the next cycle it goes through. See little buds coming back on it. So, even though this is a dead looking stock now, this can be all flowered up again. No, but it's another, I know how many. It's another, it's just the act. Like this, so. Yep. Huh. Oh, there we go. Huh. <laughs> Look. <laughs> wow, the same, hun. <laughs> These things go crazy. Two little cactuses here. In no time at all. And they're because, well, anybody doesn't, I think most people know how a cactus grows, but I know for sure. I would thank you there. If you take one of these little things right here, and it's barely even fastened, it's fastened by one little root, like a tentacle that goes down in there, but you break it off, 
lay it on a sh up on a shelf dry. Don't put it in dirt, put it on a shelf dry. Let it dry first. Once it dries, then you can lay it on dirt and it will send that tentacle down itself and start another plant up. If you put it in the dirt just like that, there's a chance it'll rot. So you gotta get up and let it dry first. Sit up on the, on the air and let it dry out. Then when you put it on the dirt, it'll send the tentacle down and uh, restart. I can't believe that. That was just broke off of a rose bush. Broke off, stuck in the dirt, and it's growing. No attention on it. Matter of fact, it even bloomed a little a while back at this last year. This has been really neglected, though. It's sitting over in the corner, it's kind of uh, spaced it out. Okay, well, anyway, here's the, uh, here's the tour of the day, and we talked about brooms and and the starting plants and jackfruit and mangoes and and what you call them? I don't know, ugly fruit. I don't have to remember that name, ugly. I see if I get a picture. I'll make a link of a picture of one of the ugly fruits and an article about them. They're supposed to be fantastic for your health. Okay, everybody, have a good day.